Hey F4, how's it going? I hope you're all okay. Welcome, we're on to week two now, okay, of our Thursday afternoon lessons. I hope week one was good, I hope you enjoyed our lesson and I hope all of the work you had at home was okay. I hope all of your families and you are safe, happy and well. Um, I hope you've had a lovely weekend um, on the back of week one and I hope you feel rested, ready to go for today. I hope last week you enjoyed and today, fingers crossed, you enjoy that too, all right? I'm sure it was a challenge for everyone. It was a challenge for me to get used to doing all of this, but we're gonna slowly get there. We're gonna stay positive and we'll get through this, okay? So my challenge, I've just done it, is to try and stop saying okay and to stop saying all right, because in the last videos that I've done, I think I've said it hundreds, maybe thousands of times, so okay and all right are on my list of banned words. I probably will still say them, but I'll try not to as much, so bear with me, all right? Also, I'm gonna try and make the videos a little bit better by putting things on the screen, um, some timers as well, maybe, so it's not just me rambling on at you all the time. Um, moving on, I loved seeing all of your work uh, last week. It was fantastic, okay? I could really see you all focusing on trying to include all of the teaching points that we talked about keep that up guys okay we're going to put some things in today's video for you to do as well to use again pictures videos whatever you want to put on the seesaw for me to see pop it on it's fantastic to see all of your work and all of your faces too because i'm missing you all a lot um so for today what you're going to need is a nice space um as you can see i've been kicked out of the main hall because people are doing pe in there at the moment um but this just goes to show you, all it is a nice little bit of space. You know, a living room, a bedroom, a kitchen, if you can go outside. Maybe not outside today, actually. You'll find out why. So you need a space. Um, a drink's always good for PE. As you know, just some water will be fantastic, all right? You're going to need some pillows, okay? Uh, and you'll find out why later on. And you'll need something to jump over. And again, you'll see what I mean by that. Hopefully, if the technology works, there should be a list here. So you can sort of pause the video and you can go away and get the things that you need to go and get. So it's a bit of a checklist, all right? Um, and you'll see what I used during the video for some ideas too. So if you're not quite sure, you can skip to that part of the video and go from there, all right? Let's make a start. So hopefully the homework and the research that I have done over the weekend has paid off and we can have a bit of technology showing us our lesson objectives today that should be about here somewhere okay if not i'm going to talk you through them now okay so we're going to use basic techniques for jumping for height all right we're going to use basic techniques for jumping for distance and we're going to establish a safe and a stable landing technique so those are the three things that if we can do successfully today i'm happy and you should be happy too all right Let's get straight into warming up. All right, so as you know, it's really, really, really important to get ourselves warmed up before we do anything, okay? So the game we're gonna play is a game called Hop and Stop. There's no teaching points as such to remember for this one. This is all about getting your bodies moving in the motions that we're gonna use for jumping and landing, okay? All you're gonna need is a nice bit of space and yourself, all right? And this is what you do. If you've got some markers, Brilliant, you can use them. If not, you can just use your memory and your space, okay? So you need to set up a point to start. You can use anything to start off from. It could be a jumper, it could be a piece of paper, anything. And you pop a spot or a marker just in front of you like this, okay? All you're gonna do for about a minute or so is two feet on one spot, jump two feet onto the other, okay? You head back onto this spot, jump, and land, okay? So like I say, just for about a minute or so, just get yourself moving, get yourself in the rhythm of doing these long jumps, all right? Give that one a go for like I say, a minute, two minutes, whatever you feel comfortable with, all right? Once you do that, okay, I want you to focus on the landing. So you're gonna go from here, you're gonna go jump and hold it for three seconds. Then you can move back, all right? Then you jump. One, two, three. Like I said, there's not gonna be any teaching points as such for this. It's just about having a bit of a go and getting used to jumping and landing, getting our bodies ready for our next game. All right, so hopefully you've had a little go at hop and stop. Here's your progression for the warm up. all right? If you can get two more things, so I've got two more spots, like say if you've got a bit of paper, a jumper, t-shirt, anything, all right? 
You're just gonna pop them like this and make this kind of shape, all right? If you wanna push yourself and make it a bit further to make a sort of diamond shape, go for it, all right? So you're gonna start two feet on here and you're gonna jump to this one. Then you're gonna go to the middle and back. Then we're gonna go to the right and back. Okay, so we're changing the angle of our jumps. So we're focused on jumping straight, going forward for distance. Now we're gonna look at going in different directions, okay? Give that one a try. All right, so we're gonna move on to our next and our final progression of this warm up before we move on to our main activities, okay? The game is exactly the same, but you're gonna use one leg at a time. You're gonna alternate between right and your left leg, okay? So we're working on going on a two legged jump, taking off on two feet, landing on two feet. Now it's about using one leg. This is gonna build the muscles into your legs to get them stronger, hopefully generating more power, ready for our main activities, okay? It's also gonna improve your balance. If you can balance on one leg, two legs is gonna be easy, all right? So give this one a try. Like I say, no teaching points just yet. Have a go, get comfortable with jumping and landing on two feet, your right foot and your left leg. So this is what it's gonna look like. So you're gonna start on your right foot here. You're gonna jump, land on your right foot and balance. Again, onto here, jump, land. If it's a bit tricky, bring it a bit closer. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? And then you're gonna go to this one and hopefully land and balance and not stutter and fall just like I've done. Then you're gonna move up to your left leg, all right. You're gonna go there, back in here, back to the start and right, okay? If you want to give yourself a timer, go for it. If you just want to go until you feel warm and ready, that's fine, okay? But give those a try. Let's move on to the main activities. Okay, I hope you feel nice and warmed up. I hope you're ready to move on to the main activities, okay? Here's how it's going to work. I'm going to explain how the game works. You're going to go and do it, okay? As soon as you've done that, the next bit of video that will come after that is going to be some teaching points and some tips to hopefully improve your technique and your ability, okay? This is all about the high jump, all right? So get yourself ready, get your mind in the zone for some high jump, all right? And we'll get cracking. So this is where you're going to need a soft space. So carpet, rugs, things like that, tarmac, big no-no, all right? Any hard floor avoid that if you can all right if not don't worry about it you don't need to do this okay make sure you've got a nice soft space and this is where you're going to need as many pillows as you can i've been on a hunt around school this morning to find the most hideous pillows ever um i mean they're not too bad but they'll do for now if you've got four like me great if you can get more even better if you can't get any pillows if you fold up a jumper a t-shirt a pair of shorts something you can stack up but as long as it's soft that's the only rule okay so what i'll do is for the high jump i'll just pop this down a touch so you can see a bit better there we go so you're going to start off with one pillow all right you're going to pop it on the floor in a nice bit of space not near any tables nothing like that so i'm not going to hurt myself there we go all you got to do is jump over the pillow two times all right two feet to two feet so it looks a bit like this Two feet to two feet, there's one jump, there's two. So you've completed level one. You're now moving on to level two. Two pillows of the high jump, all right? Same again, so we're gonna go one, two, all right? Again, we're gonna move on. Now, now you can see why when it's a soft space and some cushions, okay? It's easy to trip over these and you don't want to hurt yourself, okay? So on the three pillows now, you need to make sure you really tuck those knees in, get them out of the way, there's two. On to my fourth one. Now you can see it starts to get a bit tricky. All right, it is tough, it is hard. Give it a go, see what you can get up to, all right? So if you pause the video now, have a little go, and then I'm gonna talk you through some points to remember. Give it a go. So hopefully you've had a go at the high jump, okay? I hope you're feeling a bit more tired. It is hard work, but well done, keep it up. So as you know, in the learning objectives, we talked about jumping for height and jumping for distance. So here's some pointers that are gonna help you 
in your technique with jumping for height. And again, if the technology is on my side, they'll sort of ping up on the screen here. So if you want to pause the video, you know, take a picture or write them down so you can tick them off as you go, that's fine. But I'll talk you through them now, okay? So number one is for the takeoff position, we want to stand up nice and straight, eyes are looking forward, okay? So up here, chest is out, chin's up, arms down the side, nice and tall, all right? Eyes forward, so we're concentrating on where we're going to jump, okay? We're going to crouch with our knees, and what we're going to do is we're just going to shuffle down a touch again. There we go. I should probably just leave it like that. Um, yeah, so we're standing up straight, okay? Then number two is we're going to crouch with our knees bent, and we're going to put our arms behind us, okay? So from the side, we're going to stand up straight, and then we're going to bend our knees and put our arms behind us, okay? If you've ever been skiing before, or if you've seen someone ski, imagine you've got some skis, you push yourself down that slope, that's the position I'm looking for, all right? If you can do that, well done. Next comes our jumping part, all right? So we're standing up straight, arms behind us, bend our knees, and what we're gonna do is, okay, we're gonna push our legs so that our legs are straight, and we're gonna go onto our tippy toes. We're gonna push onto our toes and extend our whole leg, okay? That's going to generate the power needed to push us up and forward, okay? As we push our legs up, our le arms are going to swing forward and go in front of us, okay? So it's going to look like this. Standing up straight, bend our knees, arms behind us, push our legs, arms forward. And that's going to be the motion as you're jumping, okay? When you're in the air, I mean, I would love to be able to sort of hop on a broomstick and hold myself in the air to show you this, but I can't quite do that, all right? When you're in the air, tuck your legs up, tuck your knees up, so that when you're jumping over that pillow, your feet are out of the way. If you keep your feet low, it's gonna hit the pillows, you're not gonna successfully complete that jump. So when you're jumping, stand up straight, go there. Tuck those knees up so they're nice and high and so your feet are out of the way. Moving on to the landing, okay? Bend your knees, bend your ankles. That's gonna help absorb all the shock and the landing impact when you hit the floor, okay? So when you're landing, bend your knees, bend your ankles if you can and hold your arms out straight to keep your balance. So all together, it's gonna look, stand up straight, bend your knees, arms behind you, nice and high. Bend your knees, bend your ankles, arms up straight. Okay, if you need to rewind to listen to those back, I'll pop the check test up here again. Use them, give them a try. All right, so hopefully you've had a good go at the high jump, okay? Focusing on jumping for height, getting as high as we can, jumping over the pillows. Hopefully you've used those teaching points and you've implemented them into your technique as well. Remember, take pictures, take videos, upload them to Seesaw so I can see it. If you need any help, I can give you it, okay? Now, we're gonna move on to the long jump, all right? Jumping for distance, seeing how far you can jump instead of seeing how high you can jump. This is where you're gonna need two objects. Those two objects can be absolutely anything. I've got some pool noodles that's been snapped in half, okay? If you've got one at home, Brilliant, but I doubt you have. Um, like I say, if you have, great, but anything will do just to sort of mark a bit of distance, that's all it's for. Um, so all you need to do is see how far you can jump. That's the first task, okay? So again, I'll just pop the uh, camera down just to about sort of there. Excellent, all right. So you need to start off by putting one bit down for your starting point. All right, so I'm gonna pop mine here. And to start with, I'm gonna jump that, all right? So, you're gonna start on this side, all right? Jump over, fantastic. If you wanna make it a bit bigger, you can go for it. You can challenge yourself, all right? Jump, yep, yeah, happy with that. We'll go a bit bigger. Happy with that, you get the point, all right? So, give yourself a minute, two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever you fancy doing. Give that a go, see what you can do. I'm gonna jump in the next clip with some teaching points for jumping for distance, but until then, have a good go. Give it a go, guys.
So hope you've had a good go at the long jump. All right, hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've had some fun as well, okay? Here's some teaching points now, just to make your techniques a bit better. Now, in a normal lesson, I'm not bothered who can jump the furthest. If you can, great, that's a bonus. But what I'm looking for as a teacher is to see how well your technique is, okay? So here's some pointers just to give your technique that little bit more development to hopefully increase the distance of your jumps. So really, really similar for jumping for height with a couple of tweaks, but I'm gonna talk you through it, okay? I'll pop them on the screen now. Hopefully they'll pop up somewhere, otherwise it just looks a bit awkward, all right? Um, and you can sort of check these off as you go, but I'll talk you through them now, okay? So take off position, just like before. All right, we want our feet shoulder width apart. So if we imagine, all right, shoulder, there's a line, that's where we want our feet to be. So we don't want them to be too close. We don't want them too wide about shoulder width apart. So we've got a nice straight line going up our body. So feet shoulder width apart. All right, and we need to stand up nice and straight, just like we did before. Straight arms, okay? And I want you to hold them up as high as you can. So when we say stand up straight, you're gonna use your hands to increase your height, okay? Hands up nice and tall. Obviously you can't see mine at the moment, but they are up, all right? Eyes forward, same as before, try and lock on your position in the wall so that you know where you're gonna be jumping for. If you're looking at the distance, that's when you start to doubt yourself and you look at it and go, oh, I'm not quite sure if I can do that one. If you're up here, eyes straight forward, don't think about that and you're gonna go for it, okay? So give that technique a bit of a try. Arms are up here, same as before, our arms are gonna swing behind us and we're gonna bend our knees and we're gonna push our waist back, okay? So we're not just gonna go squatting down, Okay, we're gonna use our bottom half to swing and push back. So we're gonna push our bums out, knees bent, arms back straight behind us, okay? Same as before, we're gonna swing our arms forward and we're gonna straighten and extend our legs going onto our toes, all right? So it's going from here to there, all right? That's how our jump is going to look. Landing, I want to see contact with the floor with both feet. I want you to stick and I want you to hold it. You're going to hold your arms out for balance as well, okay? So all together, it's going to look like this. We're going to use our knees and our ankles to absorb that impact, okay? Like I say, if it's a small jump, that's fine. If you can get technique perfect, that's what I'd be more impressed with, okay? Like I say, if you can do a bigger jump, that's great, that's a bonus, but it's about the technique. Some of the points might be a bit weird to try at first, but once you're in the swing of it, once you're in the habit, it will flow and it will hopefully improve your scores, okay? So I'm gonna put some really basic pointers on. Tall, swing, jump, stick. Four things. Rewind back if you need to listen to me talking through each point, okay? Use those points, give it a go. All right, then, yeah, four. Hopefully, you've had a really good go at that. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. Hopefully, you've used the techniques that we've talked about. I'm sure you have. Last week was excellent. I'm sure this week will just be the same, okay? Your little extension, your challenge now is we've done the standing long jump. Now, you can experiment with a bit of a run up, too. So, if you've got the space, if you haven't, that's fine. But before you jump, instead of standing still, have a little bit of a run up, an experiment. Does it make you go further? Does it help? Can you still use that technique? Does the technique change? All right, give that a go. See if anything changes in your jumps, all right? All right, yeah, for that brings us to the end of our lesson and it's gonna bring us nicely onto the Beat the Teacher Challenge, all right? So I'm gonna explain how the challenge is gonna work and then I'm gonna play a clip from the special guest doing our Beat the Teacher Challenge. I will have different clothes on. It was recorded on Monday, so I haven't just changed outfit for the sake of this part of the video, all right? I'll explain it. You'll see the score and how it's done, and then it's gonna be your job to beat the score. So what I'll do is, again, I'll just pop the camera down a touch. So this is the sort of setup that you need. A bit of space and something to jump over. It could be this, it could be a rolling pin, it could be a pen, something small to jump over, all right? So, this is how it works. You get one point for every time you can jump over your object, all right? But the rule is you must keep your feet together at all times, okay? So, you're gonna have one minute 
you get one point every time you can jump over. So you would get one, two, three. You get the picture, okay? But as you know, it's the speed bounce challenge. So it's got to look something like one, two, three, four, five, six. You've got to be quick, okay? All I'll say is the special guest sets a very, very, very impressive score. So you've got to be working really hard. Definitely have some water ready for this one, okay? But watch the next clip. See what the score is to beat. See if you or anyone in your house can beat the teacher. So we have our special guest to do our beat the teacher challenge this week. We have Mr. McMurchie. Say hello, Mr. McMurchie. Hello. So I've explained Mr. McMurchie has one minute to do as many speed bounces as he can. All right, that's the beat the teacher score for this week. Mr. McMurchie, you have one minute. If right. you want to stop the trial at any point, you can say, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Okay. And we'll stop it immediately. All okay. right, we're going to count. We've got a glass of water and some emergency we've got oxygen. Water, we've got oxygen, we've got Bob on standby just Excellent. in case. We're good to go. <laughs> so, one point every time Mr. McMurchie jumps over our pool noodle, you can count along if you want to, too. Here we go. Three, two, one. Seconds to go. No way! <laughs> I'm so down, mate. How is that? I've lost count. We'll count at the end. We'll watch it back. Still going? That's five seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. that is time. Fantastic. Were you counting? Because I wasn't. <laughs> So that is our Beat the Teacher Challenge for this week. Um, I'll count back and see if we know what the score was. As you can see, it is tiring. It is hard work. So have some water. Have some water I'm all ready. Right. <laughs> have right. some oxygen ready if you need it as well, okay? Give it a go. See if you can beat the teacher. Good luck. And that brings us to the very, very end of our lesson today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. I hope you've enjoyed your whole day. I hope you've enjoyed your whole week, all right? Um, parents, carers, if you're on Twitter, okay, follow this account here, at BDPPE. I'll post any updates and any sort of announcements um, that you might need to be made aware of, all right? So make sure you follow that account. Remember, um, kids, parents as well, to upload all of your work for me to see, okay? It means I can analyze it, I can look at your technique as well, and it's always great to see your faces too, all right? You're very, very missed in school. So stay active, guys. Stay safe. Take care. See you later.